Hello and welcome to part one of lesson two of the online terrestrial navigation course. If you haven't already done so, please check the description of the video for a link. There you'll find a worksheet you can download and follow along with the lesson. I would encourage you to complete the worksheet as many times as it takes to consistently score 90% or better before moving on to the next lesson. But for now, let's get started. Today's lesson, we're going to learn about leeway and course made good. Leeway is only applied to a true course. To obtain a true course, you must use either the TVMDC method or the TGEG method learned in lesson one. If you're not already familiar with this, please go back and review lesson one until you feel 100% comfortable with these methods. Leeway is the drift of a vessel caused by the wind. Once the leeway correction is made, you will know your course made good. The course made good is the actual course the vessel is traveling through the water. Let's take a look at a diagram. Suppose we're on a course of true north, zero degrees. Along comes an easterly wind. An easterly wind is one that blows from the east. Always remember that about the wind. It's talking about where the wind is coming from. Suppose it's blowing from the east and causing a 10 degree leeway. Your course would change 10 degrees to the lee side. In this case, it would be 350 degrees. That would be your course made good the actual course you are traveling through the water. Notice that while the vessel is steering a course of zero degrees true, it's actually making a course of 350 degrees true. Let's take a look at what some of the questions will look like on your Coast Guard exam concerning leeway and course made good. You're steering a course of 154 degrees per gyro compass. The wind is southwest, causing a 4 degree leeway. The gyro error is 3 degrees east. Variation is 11 west, and deviation is 7 degrees east. What is the true course made good? First, we have to get a true course. If we're using a gyro heading, we'll lay out the T G E G diagram. We'll plug the 154 degrees per gyro compass in. And we get the gyro error from the problem of 3 degrees east. Apply the correction for a true course of 157 degrees. This was all covered in lesson one, so if you're lost here, please go back and review lesson one. We have a true course of 157 degrees. We're ready to apply the leeway. While taking your exam, it's a good idea to just scribble out on your scratch paper a circle and draw the lines that you learn in this lesson. It'll help you to uh, not make careless errors. So if we're on a course of 100 and 57 degrees true, and the wind is southwest, causing a four degree leeway, it's going to blow us off course four degrees to the lee side. So our course made good would be 153 degrees true. Your answer to this question is A. The rest of the video is just a similar step-by-step -step process of each problem. So if you get stumped on any of the questions, you can scroll through the video, look for the question number in the upper left corner, watch the step-by-step -step process of it being worked, and good luck.